my sweeties. This time I will do a review on makeup brand uh, on the eyeshadows that I have recently bought. And um, these eyeshadows are by Atelier. And uh, I don't actually do reviews, but for this uh, makeup brand I will do an exception. Um, it is a very long story how I tried to get to them. Uh, I guess more than one year I have try to get through uh, this purchase uh, with this purchase I'm actually I actually owe to a nice person a friendly person who helped me uh, to get through uh, to contact the Atelier team the link is right here and I'm very grateful because I don't know if I could buy this uh, without his help if I could find this without his help so guys let's talk about the uh, eyeshadows that I bought. I bought 20 of them uh, of different textures and some more to come so I have ordered some more eyeshadows and uh, here you can see here in the description box first point I've listed the, for you the link uh, to their site to the Atelier makeup uh, it, exists in French and in English and I guess in Spanish, I'm not sure about this. So, uh, and the second point um, in the description box is the link to uh, eyeshadows, the eyeshadows that I have got. These are Pro Cake eyeshadows uh, and they have the notice on them. It's PR uh, abbreviation. Uh, I would like to, uh, in this review, I would like to compare them to MAC eyeshadows uh, because many of you know MAC eyeshadows uh, well and much better than the Atelier. First of all, uh, I want to compare them by size. So now I have the refills of the eyeshadows. I haven't put them yet in the palette, but I will soon. Macro fills are much smaller, so they have uh, 1.35 grams and uh, um, Atelier eyeshadows have uh, 3 and uh, 5. Second point, uh, comparison, comparing to MAC. Uh, MAC, as you know, MAC has different uh, textures in their eyeshadows, so Atelier uh, has the same, so it has four textures, uh, matte um, eyeshadows that can be compared to MAC matte eyeshadows, and uh, not even matte, but matte too. And uh, the second texture is um, the one that has some small, small sparkles in it. I don't. I don't think that in MAC there is something like that, but it's really beautiful. And uh, uh, the third texture is satin, so the same with MAC satin. They are very close to each other, I guess, by texture. And the last one is, I think it can be compared to frost uh, by MAC. So um, I will show you the textures, I will show you the eyeshadows with different textures that I've got and uh, I hope you can see these on the uh, swatches in the description box. I will not do them on the hand because anyway the color will not be true so I will just show you and speak a, lot, a little bit uh, about each of them. So. Uh, Concerning the textures and the eyeshadows, you can see in the link uh, the point two that uh, you have you, that you may see in the description box. And so there on the page, uh, there are the eyeshadows, the textures, and the pictures that a little bit differ from original uh, colors. And there down the page, if you scroll down the page, there will be written in French. Uh, I have found this information in English, but I have given you the link where this information exists. And there down the page, the, uh, there is written that uh, Atelier eyeshadows have four textures. And yet, what I want to say about them uh, 
So when you apply them, uh, they are still uh, in powder. So you can see the powder on the eyes, but in several minutes, you will be surprised how they, they adapt to the skin. So the finish is very smooth and even. Uh, they are actually easy to blend and the pigment is great, so they are very pigmented. So the first one that I love, love very much, this one is completely matte, so you will not see no sparkles, no frosty finish in, in it. And this, is, this one is PR63 and um, it's ivory color, very beautiful matte. It's great as a highlight color and it's really pigmented. The next one that I love also very much and it is completely matte also. You have, you can see no, um, you can't see any sparkles in it neither, neither. Uh, and this one is 001 and it's apricot colored. So very tender and very soft. And the next color is uh, PR25 and it's also matte. I guess so small, small, small sparkles you can see. So many of uh, Atelier eyeshadows they are very matte, but in some of them you can see uh, small, small sparkles. So they are not sparkly, they are not shimmering, but uh, some small pieces you will see. Um, this I guess they are matte, so I have found any sparkles in them, and they are sure not frosty. Uh, so PR25, very beautiful uh, brown red color. Again, very soft and very natural. The second color, uh, the next color is uh, PR57, uh, and this one is uh, burnt amber. I guess burnt amber, yes. And uh, this one is, it is also matte. These four eyeshadows, they are looking great with each other because they are very natural. So this one is uh, PR25 and this one is PR57. So this one is uh, brown red and this one is burnt amber. The next matte color is emerald and this is PR83. You can see it in the makeup that I have posted recently, so Twilight. The next eyeshadow is matte. Uh, by finish, but it will look better. It has almost invisible sparkles in it. Extremely beautiful color, and this one is PR27, and this is uh, and this is pink brown. So this one is uh, red brown. This one is pink brown. The eyeshadow that is matte is a uh, turquoise PR108 and it's matte and it's very very beautiful and tender. It's actually looking like light blue with aqua color, something in the middle. And I would like to compare it to the next color, to the light blue color that actually seems to me uh, very similar to MAC Felt Blue. Uh, it's also matte, no sparkles, no frosty finish. So, uh, light blue color, uh, PR 109. 
The next color that uh, can be also compared with the previous ones is a uh, blue-green color PR17 and yes it's also matte so I'm a fan of matte eyeshadows.